Down Big Will Evanson. And it's time to talk sports. Ladies and gentlemen, the Denver Broncos entire roster officially reported a training camp. It was just team meetings today ahead of the Broncos first training camp practice on Wednesday. But of course, top of mind for everyone around the organization is the quarterback position as Denver prepares for a three way QB competition. So let's meet our three contestants jockeying for the right to take the first snap in Seattle on September 8th. First, the rookie, the first round pick, the perfectly selected fit and Sean Payton's quick passing offense, the big arm playmaker out of Oregon. It's Bo Nix, a man with plenty of college experience, but still has plenty of work to do to get his game to translate to the NFL level. Will Sean Payton insert their first round pick right out of the gate? Only time will tell. Then there's Another newcomer, a guy that has certainly struggled since entering the league, is the second overall pick back in 2021. 23 career touchdowns to a whopping 25 interceptions. Zach Wilson finally eclipsed 60% completion last season after hovering around just 55% his first two years. With Wilson, you're not banking on what he has done in the league, but what he potentially could do. The talent and playmaking was evident at BYU. It's why he was the second pick in the draft. But now we wait to see if the quarterback whisperer, Sean Payton, can turn Wilson's career around. Our final contestant is far and away the most experienced in this offensive system because he's the only one with experience under Sean Payton. Now entering his second season in Denver, the former Patriot fourth round pick back in 2019 saw action in two games at the end of last season, throwing for a total of 496 yards, two touchdowns and just one interception and went over the Chargers in a loss to the Raiders. Stidham likely has the highest floor of the bunch, but also the lowest ceiling. He's definitely more of the game manager type, which could make the most sense for a steady start to the season. And so here they are, Knicks, Wilson and Stidham. One of these three will be your day one starter for the Denver Broncos. And Sean Payton is committed to finding the guy who can walk into Lumen Field in Seattle and stun the Seahawks. I think we're looking to find the guy to beat Seattle, and we're going to find that player. Um, look, the number one goal is to find the right 53 players here for, for our team. Um, certainly, there's a lot of focus on the quarterback position because there's open competition there. but. I don't, I don't look at it as finding the balance. I, I, I look at it as finding the player. Man in Jackalope land, the Jacks got out to a big early 7-0 lead. And unlike last week, they held on to that lead. A great night on the mound for Evan Massey. Seven innings pitched and just three earned runs. The only three runs of the game for the Vimes is GJ gets ahead in this series and gets to one game under 500. The Vimes and Jacks will do it again for game two of the series at 635 p.m. tomorrow night as GJ looks to get ahead of the Rocky Mountain Vimes in the Pioneer League standings. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.